Don't shoot. 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 We're tired of being a threat. We're tired of fitting the descriptions. We're tired of being treated as if we are not human beings. They ask us why we're here today, because we're not gonna stand by and watch this happen. Kenosha, Wisconsin is three hours away from Dubuque. Who's next? Will it be me? Will it be your friend? Will it be your brother? Will it be your dad? Who's gonna fit the description next? Jacob Blake had his back turned. He was shot seven times. They tell us to follow the law. That's all we gotta do. Won't they start telling the police to follow the law? Won't they start telling the police that murdering people is against the law? Shooting people is against the law. How could you tell us to abide by what they say when our children are watching their fathers be shot in front of them? Would you abide by the police if you saw your father get shot in front of you while his back was turned? Would you be comfortable? Would you feel safe? If an officer approached you, if you experienced that in your life, probably not. Definitely. Stop killing us. No justice. No peace. 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 Many of us are grateful enough to be able to code switch, as I said before, and represent our community peacefully. Just learn how to watch what you say and ask questions if you truly have no idea. Because I do understand most people in the community, they've never been around you know, black people before. They've always went to schools where it was just white kids. So learn how to actually get to know somebody, not just because of their skin, but just because of who they really are. Actually sit down and have a conversation with them. You never know what somebody is going through. And my last thing I want to read to you guys is, Non-black people must do better to learn to listen. Keep in mind that black people are not obligated to teach us how to care for them. Look into your honest self, your discomfort, your learned anti-blackness, and your family history. Call your racist family members out. Move beyond the internet to show your outrage and grief. Take action and do not remain complicit. Remember that black communities have supported and taught every radical movement in history. It has long been our time to play our part in destroying white supremacy and everything that upholds it that remember that that reminder can no longer be gentle. Um, so my biggest thing lately is racism isn't a political thing. Okay, like it's a human rights thing. I don't care if you're Democrat, liberal, Republican, a dog, a cat, I don't care. Um, it's, it's, you know, to be racist, like that, that's a hu to not be racist is a human thing. It's called human rights. These are people we're talking about. It's not some, it's, it's not like a policy or anything. These are people. They're living and breathing. They're our brothers, our sisters, our uncles, our cousins, they're lawyers, the doctors, teachers. Like, these are people. These are, aside from, Black Lives Matter isn't just an organization. It's not just a movement. These are living, breathing people who just want to go home to their families. Those who say cops just want to make, make it back to their families, so do we. Jacob Blake want to just get back in his car and go home with his three sons, but in, instead he met an ultimate fate with less than paralyzed in front of his kids. Imagine if that was you. Imagine if your sons and daughters watch you get shot. How traumatizing. You think they're going to grow up and be like, oh yeah, cops are all good. Like, their dad almost died in front of them. That does not, it's not gonna happen. And then let's talk about the emotional toll that's going to happen in their family now. Depression, generational depression is a thing. Generational poverty is a thing, okay? They're about to grow up and have all these mental issues which could have been avoided if he, if, if he would just went home. And I hear people saying, oh, well, he was, he got, he had sexual assault charges. Uh, so does the president. So I'm just really confused on why he was, he was shot in the back and yet someone is running our country. 
just trying to get home, live our lives. Kyle Rittenhouse is 17 years old and he was allowed to walk towards cops with an assault rifle. With an assault rifle in the, within the same 24 hours that Jacob Blake was shot in the back. So you cannot tell me this is not a race problem. Make that make sense.